guys, it's Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. Guys, I know it's been a hot minute. Let me straighten this camera up a little bit. There we go. I know it's been a hot minute since I have recorded a video, and I apologize. I just haven't been feeling the best. Um, but I'm starting to feel better today. I have thought about you guys, and I've missed you so much. And I have wanted to come in here and film every day. Every day I've thought about it. And I just, I just couldn't do it. But, um, I pushed through and I'm here today. And so hopefully, um, this means I'm back for good. So, um, last video that I'd done, I had actually done a poll and asked you guys if you wanted to see the Blend Bunnies Dollhouse Palette or the Pat McGrath Bridgerton Collection. And you guys picked the Dollhouse Palette. It was, it won over the poll. And so I thought the next one would be the Pat McGrath Bridgerton Collection, which I know just recently restocked on the site. And if you look in the community tab, I have the code where you can get 10% off your purchase. So if you are interested in this collection, um, what I got out of the collection was the palette and the blush palette, the face palette. I thought since it had a highlighter in it, that I really didn't need to pick up one or both of the other single highlighters. I am trying to spend less this year. So that was part of um, that train of thought as well with this, that I wanted to spend less. And I felt like I just didn't need the other highlighters. So I just picked up these. I do have to say, and let me, I, let me tell you, I have never, ever watched this show. Um... I do have it on my list of things to do to check out. Now that I know everybody thinks it's so wonderful. I do have to say that the uh, packaging is gorgeous. I know you guys have probably seen this time and time again. I think everybody and their mother um, has done videos on it. But, you know, I know that I love Pat McGrath. And I just knew that I wanted to get this collection. And, of course, if I pay money for something, I want to share it with you guys, too. So, I hope you guys want to see my take on this and what I do with it. So, um, I do know that the blushes are different um, than what's in the um, other palettes from her Christmas collection. Because I wondered about that myself. Um, I only got the um, small one. Or the light one. Hold on a minute. Should have had this pulled out already. So I got the light version. And it comes with Divine Rose, Desert Orchid, and Golden Nectar in it. And this one comes with Cherish, Nymphette, and Venus Nectar. So um, those are different if you got the lighter palette. From what I'm understanding, they are different from what's in the darker palette, too. So, I'm going to open up the eyeshadow palette first. This is just beautiful. I can't stop looking at it. So, when you open it up, the outside packaging looks like that, too. It's so gorgeous. And I love these pennies that are all over it. Those are just beautiful. Those are one of my favorite flowers. And then it tells you on the back, this is the Mothership Diamond of the First Water palette. The names are Iconic and Genuine, Art of Swoon, Regency Blue, Plum Regalia, Duchess Divinity, and Love Match. So, you've got, right here you've got Iconic and Genuine. The middle shade is Art of Swoon, Regency Blue. You have Love Match, Duchess Divinity, and Plum, Plum Regalia. Um, it looks like there's only one true matte. That's this color right here. These two colors are like a... Um, one looks like a matte with glitters in it, which is that top shade. And the bottom one looks like it is a, um, I can't even think. It's just a very light sheen. I 
there you go and that's the one on top so then if you open up the palette the face palette it took forever to get this order to me and i know i had a couple of friends that um were also complaining about how long it took to uh, get their palettes so this is what the face palette looks like it is just beautiful so i'm going to go ahead and start with the eyeshadow palette first i've already got my face on except for these products and um, if you're wondering what my lip is my liner is the steve laurent liner in the color chic and my lipstick is kkw in pink number four my light over here keeps dimming after a while and then i just turn it off turn it back on and it's bright again i don't know what is up with that but it's getting on my nerves so let me get my brushes over here so of course i think i'm going to um i need to prime my eyes first lisa get with it <clears throat> I have to find my eye primer right now i'm using the juvia's place she it's just been a week i've not recorded um i'm acting like oh man a bunch of water just squirted out of that tube all over me what in the piss was that about I mean, it just went everywhere. It's been cold in my room, so maybe, maybe that's it. Malika, honey, it was just me beating on the table. It's all right. Yeah, after I shook it up, it came out all right. I got a little bit too much out, as a matter of fact. I swear I've done this before. You sure can't tell it by the train wreck that is going on right now, but I promise. But I have a feeling that a lot of you come to my channel knowing it's going to be a train wreck and you're just here for the show. <laughs> so now let's see if we can't uh get some shadows going here i think i'm going to start out with the blend bunny number five brush and i'm going to pick up that one true matte right here in the corner a beautiful color and I'm going to start dabbing that in my crease oh now she's not going to stop raising cane for nothing or nobody mm, that's a pretty color you know, some people don't like Pat's mats, but I like them. I don't really ever have any trouble with them. Um, they always seem to work out for me. So, I don't know. That is beautiful. I love that. I love that, love that, love that. And it just went on so easily. Just no trouble. So now I think I want... What do I want to do? I think I want to take the refer number 14. And I want to pick up this one right here. I love the little bees that are pressed in here. I'm going to have to watch the show to 
so I'll know what's going on with all of these little symbols and stuff. So I'm going to start tapping that out here in my little outer V part of my eye. I'm hoping I can deepen it up pretty good. Yeah. And then I want to bring this in my crease a little bit. I don't want a whole ton of it, but just whatever's left on my brush. And just bringing that all the way in. And I am wearing um, that Charlotte Tilbury foundation again. This is my second time. And um, I don't know if you guys can see this. I've got some dry skin on my forehead. Probably where, where I've not been feeling good. I've not been doing my skincare, so I've not been moisturizing or anything. And I can say that if you've got any kind of texture or dry skin, this is going to spotlight it. So it's not going to be um, good for anybody that's got any kind of those issues going on. I'm going to go back in with my brush one more time just to bring a little bit more depth out here. So that's my third time bringing in, and I think that is perfect right there. Now I want to go ahead and grab me some glitter glue. And I do this for the majority of my pigments or my shimmers. Or I either use glitter glue or I wet my brush, either one. I don't never do a dry application because I just don't prefer it. Okay, now I'm not seeing my brush that I like to use for my pigments here. Um... I don't really put that anywhere else. Ooh. There it is. I started to have a fit. And this is my refer number 21. I need to pick me up another one of these. So I'm going to pick up that uh, NYX glitter glue with my refer number 21. And I'm going to start tapping that on my eyeball. Okay, and using that same brush, I'm going to go into this one right here. How pretty. And I'm going to bring it out here into that red a little bit there. Oh, that is a beautiful shade. Just beautiful. And I'm going to turn my brush over and I'm going to go into that blue shade. I can't wait to play with this one. It looks so beautiful. I'm going to bring it in right here on that inner corner. Oh my. That just makes me so happy. I mean, look at that. Whew. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I'm going to take that brush that I had that red shade on. I'm not picking up any more color, but I am going to 
land of that shimmer with that red. Mmm. I just think that is gorgeous. Oh. oh. Okay, now I'm going to take the Blend Bunny number three brush. And I am going to pick up more of this red shade. I'm going to go on my lower lash line. I'm taking it almost all the way in, but not quite. So pretty. And then I'm going to take my Blend Bunny number two. So this is the B2. I need to clean that off. Okay. And I'm going to go into that blue shade with it. And I am going to spray my brush. That's dead. Okay. I think I'm going to pick up a little bit of that glitter glue. And then I'm going to go back into that shade. I think I want a blue in the waterline. I like that. This blue eyeliner, um, you can't get anymore. It's Jordana Easy Liner in sterling blue. I need to get me some new eyeliners and replace because I've got a lot of these Jordana because I like them. That is such a pretty, pretty eye. I love it. Okay, so I'm going to hop off camera and I'm going to finish this eye. And I don't know if I'm going to do lashes tonight or not, but... You'll know when I come back, and then we will finish applying the face palette. Okay, guys, I am back. I've got my lashes on. Um, I went ahead and done the blue eyeliner in this eye. I love this look so much. Um, I think there are several different looks you can get with this palette. Because I thought at first, whenever I first got it and looked at it, I thought, hmm. This might be a one, maybe a two look Nelly, but no, I really think after using it and checking out these shades, I think you could do multiple different looks. We used four out of the six, um, actually five, because I did try to use this one as an inner corner highlight, but it's not um, that kind of shade. So I thought I would use the um, highlighter when we use that palette. So I'm digging the eye look. A lot. So now let's use the face palette. <clears throat> Let me make sure my blush brush is clean of all other blushes. And what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to go in with this blush first. And then I may come in and deepen it up a little bit with this one. So that we can kind of... <coughs> get a feel of both colors. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so that's what's coming off on the brush. Let me... I love Pat's 
blushes. They are so pretty. Mm, that's such a pretty color. Just look at how pretty that is. Then I'm just going to go over it with my Beauty Blender just to knock it down a little bit because I did go in a little on the heavy side. <clears throat> so pretty. So now let's pick up this other shade. And just try to deepen it up back here just a little bit. Oh, I love that. Mm-hmm. So pretty. Then we're going to go in with my Smashbox highlighting brush. And pick up this highlighter after I knock everything over. Now look, this is this 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 look here. Can you guys see this? My highlighter is coming out of the pan. So I don't know if anybody else has noticed this or has even had this trouble, but it's coming out of the pan. So that upsets me greatly because when you pay what you pay for Pat McGrath, you don't want that happening. <clears throat> okay. It is a very pretty highlight, but I do think it's a tidge too dark for my skin tone, if I'm being honest about it. I think it's a gorgeous formulation, but see, I can see that cast right there. So I do think it could go a little heavy. Um, if you use it lightly, you could use it. But if you're any lighter than my skin tone, it's not going to work for you. So let me put a little bit more of my setting spray down. <clears throat> Pounce that in and dry my face. Okay, so this is the final look using the Pat McGrath Bridgerton collection. I think it's a very pretty look. Um, I am glad that I purchased it. I don't have any hard feelings over the, the collection other than the fact that my blush or my highlighter is wanting to come out of the pan. Um, it's in there good now. It may just not have been pressed all the way in to begin with, but it looks good and flush now. I did notice how, and this just may be nothing, but I noticed how the make the mirror protectants are all like wrinkled up on the mirrors again for what you pay for this kind of makeup 
I just think that's a little bit trashy. Um, I mean, it's all about the aesthetic and the packaging and all of that is a thing. And so for me, when I see stuff like that, it turns me off on it really quickly. And I may just be too hard on it. I don't, I mean, but that's, that's the way I feel. I mean, so agree with me or not, I just think that it should be done better. And I feel like maybe they rushed everything since they were running so behind on um, getting these out to people. I don't know, but um, I feel like that could have been done better. As far as the formulas, I feel like um, this is probably one of the better Pat McGrath formulas, in my opinion. Um, the blushes, of course, didn't let me down. They were spot on on what I expected them to be from what I have used in the past. Um, so I do like the collection. If you were um, looking at it to pick it up, Again, it is a small quantity is back in stock as of last night. I don't know what the site looks like today, but as of last night, everything was back in stock on the uh, Pat McGrath website. I do know that the collection is coming to Sephora at some point. Um, so if you want to wait and get it at Sephora, you can, but you won't be able to get that 10% off. Um, like you do on the Pat McGrath website. So there is that to consider. So guys, this is it for this video. And I will see you in my next one. And until then, God bless. And I love you guys. I love you guys. <laughs>